today's topic is going to be social media security now how safe are you on social media there's this popular quote that says you have freedom of speech but freedom after speech that i cannot guarantee you all right guys you are welcome to the show online branding with aaron chidi a show dedicated to making sure that you and your business looks good online for those of you who know me very well uh, you would know that i've been missing in action for quite some time now and that's as a result of trying to set up something very big i'm about to step into a new stage of my life and it's been very very time consuming so if you know me very well judging from little details you would know what's going on around uh, my business and my life and my career as a whole now let's get back into business this is online branding and I'm dedicated to making sure that you and your business looks good online I do this every Saturday on Nigeria's first motivational radio station I aspire radio every Saturday by 11 a.m. where we discuss tips and tricks on how to grow your brand online your personal brand now this year is supposed to be the video version and it's more it's supposed to be more engaging so if you're just joining me you're welcome if you're new here you're very much welcome but if you're an old cargo and you've been doing this you've been following us all through the years um welcome uh, all right today's topic is gonna be social media security now how safe are you on social media there's this popular quote that says you have freedom of speech but freedom after speech that i cannot guarantee you and that's similar to what's going on on social media today before 2017 you could just go online and say anything you want but nowadays the game has changed drastically you have to be careful what you put out there i say this all the time on the show you are what you share on social media i have an article on my blog toptrainninja.com you can go check it out and Basically, what I'm trying to tell people is before you put out content, any content whatsoever on social media, you have to think about it. You don't need to be emotional. Now, I'll give you three examples of celebrities, people who made mistakes because they posted things when or while they were emotional. The very first example that we should be looking at as regards this topic will be the one coming from no other than the former president of Chocolate City, Aldo Maikore. Now, for those of you who know Aldo very well, he used to be the chief of Chocolate City before MI took over. And he has been doing other things. He's gone into other businesses. And recently, uh, he made a post, he made a tweet. That was like a couple of weeks back, uh, a couple of months back, actually. And he tweeted about the crisis in Southern Cabina, and that landed him in jail. Now, why was that? That's a result of misinformation. Now, he, he got an information from one of his staffs who allegedly, he said, is his driver. And then he was misinformed that the driver told him that his brother was part of the people who were murdered by Fulani Hensman on his way back home. Now, he picked up because, like, like I said earlier, you shouldn't post when you're emotional. And out of the rage, he picked up his phone and he tweeted about it. He said that, him, according to him, that five people were murdered in Southern Kaduna. And that was the main reason why he was arrested. Uh, a couple of days after the tweet, he was arrested and he was taken to Abuja where he is being questioned on why he made that post and how he got the information. And uh, that's kind of like spread up this new hashtag on social media, which was free Aldo. A couple of people, a couple of well-meaning Nigerians started tweeting and posting uh, about it using the hashtag free Aldo and and eventually he was released now he's still facing the charges uh, at the moment but that's the first point like I said earlier you don't want to post when you're emotional the second one is <laughs> be careful what you put out you are what you share on social media now let's use the example of what happened to Ogwe Okoye a couple of weeks back now she saw something that looked nice and felt nice we are all guilty of this we do this all the time i do it because i manage a lot of accounts and i can't help but in, in my own case now where i put out content that is over 30 contents a day there is absolutely no way that all those 30 contents will be original so there's this pressure that celebrities get i won't go deep into it on today's topic but they always want to keep up this front and they always have to be relevant online so by doing so they have to put out content and unfortunately for her she used a picture of the same dog 
that was used by a celebrity a reality show celebrity abroad by name kenya moore and then she used the picture of her dogs and put it on on a platform saying that she's expecting her babies <laughs> now i don't blame her for that what i blame her for doing is misusing the caption now she could have just put up the picture with a very simple caption that would not implicate her by just saying i love dogs instead of her making a sound and feel like She's expecting that particular dog, which unfortunately for her, doesn't belong to her, belongs to KMO. <laughs> so that's how complicating social media can be. That's why we're talking about today's topic, social media security. You have to be careful what you put out there. What you share is who you are. So a lot of Nigerians got, she was, she tried it for a couple of weeks. That's a good part of social media in Nigeria. Before you know something bigger than what you're currently going through will come up and then knock you out on the side. So another trend picked up. This happened like five, three days ago when the controversial journalist, Kemi Omolulu, posted something. She's been doing this. She's very well known for doing this. She attacks all kinds of people on social media. Um, she did this and this one actually landed her in cell. Now that's just crazy, you know? She's currently in Port Harcourt, uh, where she's facing charges of cybercrime. Now, how did that happen? you asked me <laughs> all right she did something she posted something that had to do with a letter she got from a church member of the salvation ministry uh, where she allegedly claimed that one mr david was having an affair with uh, yabo joe the same yabo joe we all know yes the one from the movies and well <laughs> the guy didn't take it lightly at all so he went and got her arrested now, this is just where I am about to give up on social media. <laughs> so the lady who got arrested, tweet, she made a post on Instagram saying that she's just been arrested as a result of what she posted. And she pledged, she pleaded with our uh, Nigerians, of course, to use the hashtag free KOO. Now, trust me. Not too many people are using that. Even if you find, if you manage to search through the social media and you find someone who is using it, probably will be something negative. Now she's claiming she's well connected, that she doesn't want to use her strong uh, uh, influential uh, uh, position to get those get herself free. That she wants to see how the, the the whole judiciary system in Nigeria is going to play out. Well, we're looking. She's still in jail. She hasn't come out yet. <laughs> I don't think it's looking good for her right now because the hashtag that she's hoping that is going to trend that she she comes out like this very strong social media influencer like this guru that knows how the whole social media works war uh, system works and how she was the one that uh, single-handedly made uh, drake yes the same drake from america popular and and it's crazy how you can't even start up a hashtag to free yourself from jail now that's just crazy but that aside there are a lot of crazy things happening on social media today and that is what I've been trying to talk about. Now, if you know you've learned a couple of things that can keep you away from jail and make you post the right content and you feel you like what you've heard so far, you can like the, you can click the like subscribe button to subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'm doing this for the first time. This is the very first video, so uh, I call you boy now. Yeah. All right, guys, I hope you've enjoyed today's show. And there you have it, social media influencer Aaron Chidi, and this is online branding. Uh, for those of you wondering why I'm putting on this costume, actually, this is one of the outfits that I wore for my pre-wedding picture shoot. Uh, yes, I'm getting married in a few months' time, actually next month. And it's just crazy. That's just one thing I don't understand in this part of the world. You, you do the traditional wedding, which I've done anyway. You do the court wedding, then you do the white wedding. You do all this ceremony and then you hear that the marriage is no more after a couple of months down the line. It's just crazy. That might actually be my next topic. How celebrity marriages don't last in Nigeria and why? Or should I say why celebrity marriages don't last in Nigeria? Yeah, that should be the next thing. Um, I, 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 I sincerely do not post anything as regards this because I, I want to be the one to control how fast the whole thing goes. That's why I say you have to plan your post. I plan my post. I have pictures, lovely pictures, but I still haven't shared any of them. Um, I'm waiting for the right time. And 
that's the whole idea you have to be in control of what you put out there the social media is crazy like i always say the internet is the biggest gift to our generation now what are you doing with it do something with it have a nice day guys